Hey everyone, um, I'm just making another tutorial. This one's a flight simulator game we're going to be making in Unity version 5. Um, basically, this is basic controls, controlling an airplane or fighter craft or really whatever you want. So let's get started. First thing we're going to have to do is open Unity. There are instructions to install this, um, this program in the description. You basically just need to make a Unity account, download the application, then log in and yeah everything's automated so first thing you want to do is create a new project when you first open the application you'll probably be greeted with this screen we'll call this flight simulator you can name it whatever you like when a 3d application and create project don't worry about that When you first open the application, uh, might be might look a bit scary, but once you know your way around the engine, it's actually pretty easy. Okay, <clears throat> this is what you'll be greeted with. Um, there's nothing here at the moment. All you've got is a camera angle. Uh, you've got light, and that's it. So first thing we want to do is we want to make a a floor. So you click on game object. You go to a photo object and you make a new plane. A plane is basically just a flat surface. So we'll make this, we'll scale it to about 1000. 1000. Actually, sorry, the y axis can just stay one. And this is 1000. We only want to change the x and z axis because the x is the length and the uh, z is the width. The y is the height of it so you say if you're looking at it from a, like a 2d point of view from the side it'll actually make it make it bigger i guess so how to explain okay <clears throat> we've got the floor ready so we want to add color right we want to add something to separate the floor from the actual landing strip we're going to be making so what you want to do is click down here click all materials Click on Asset Store. Um, here you can basically browse through um, all the actual materials and and stuff like that. Make sure you get a free one. You don't want to be paying any money for this crap. Yeah, it's quite stupid actually. How they want to charge money for them, but yeah. Oops. I'm in the paid assets actually. Perfect example. You want to click on free assets. Scroll down, just find any text you like, really. I just want to find something green, make it look like grass. I'm just going to search green. Okay, we've got a green right here. I'm just going to import that package. Basically, importing it means um, it'll download a or download a couple files and insert them into the project. So we'll import that into the project. And now, give me a sec. Now when we go and click on our project assets, you'll notice a new folder. This is the folder we just downloaded. These are all the resources we just downloaded. So we click on that. We go into materials, click on the green and drag it to the floor. Now we have a green floor. You can absolutely choose whatever color you want. You can choose orange, you can choose blue. But I'm just going to stick with green like grass. Now we've done that, we've got the floor. And now to quickly make the actual landing strip, we're going to make another sodium object. This time we're going to make it a cube. You'll notice the cube is halfway through the floor because our plane, which is a ground, is positioned at. Let me check. It's positioned at the it's positioned at the zero for the y-axis. So if we change the positioning to this to one, it'll come above that. But there's no need for that anyway, so we'll just leave it at zero. We're going to scale this to uh, say ten wide. We'll make it probably let's just give it two hundred in length. 
and we want to change the actual the y axis of this to 0 0.1 we don't need it to render that much of the object because rendering actually takes quite a bit of memory so the less rendering the better um, we don't want the plane to actually start in this position on the runway so or the camera angle to start in this position on the runway so because we, we got the z axis of the scale set at 200 we're just going to have that make it 100 and as you can see the camera angle if you look at the game that's where the camera angle will start we'll modify that in a second so what we want to do is go back to scene now um, I'm just gonna make a because that you know, I'll, I'll just um I'll just use that as a runway color you can really do the same thing you just go to all materials you can find a runway um, I'm sure you can find a runway material where you just put it on there you know add stripes etc okay <clears throat> now basically done all we want to do is import the package which is a vehicles package you can you can actually go to um prefabs and type in aircraft aircraft or models or actually I think it's in models but um yeah just click on the store and yeah as you can see there's a lot of different models that come up well, I'm just going to use the stock um the stock vehicles find it much easier so I just went to assets and clicked import assets and then clicked on vehicles this is actually um, quite a big package so you may be waiting a couple minutes for it to import just gonna stay here while it's importing you'll notice this tutorial is also is absolutely no coding um, I've already done the coding and modified it. I found a script online. It's very very small I could probably convert it to C sharp for quicker rendering But I'll just leave it as a, a JavaScript at the moment And again when we um, when we insert the aircraft you can actually change the color of it just how we did um, the runway and the, the ground so you just look for materials and just drag and drop it on the object and it will change that colour. I'm just going to leave mine the exact way um, the Unity 4 of object is. I just find it more simple and you know I'm not going to put 100% effort into this, it's just a guide to get you started. Sorry, it's taken a while. It'll be done in a second. And basically, for this, um, all you really need to do is use a 3D model. You can make your own 3D models with AutoCAD or absolutely any program. You can go online and just search for, up for a 3D, uh, like say an airplane dot 3ds or absolutely anything. Okay, now it's imported to our assets. If we click on assets, we'll notice another new folder, which is standard assets. This is where we'll be finding our our model for the plane. Go in vehicles, go in aircraft. Pretty sure it's pre yeah prefabs, and basically we just drag and drop it on here. It's quite big at the moment. Don't worry, we'll be changing that. We're going to scale it to 0.4 on the x, y, and z axis. Okay, now when you look at it, one sec, sorry. If you look at it from the camera angle, which is the game, you'll notice we have quite a large aircraft. That that'll be our base. <coughs> We're going to quickly position the aircraft. We'll set it to zero, zero, and probably five. Yep, and we will position this at about, say, minus 5, minus 3, we'll position it at minus 3, I reckon, 
yeah. We'll change the height of it to about five. Three. We'll change the height to, to three. And yeah, I think we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, now what you want to do is drag your main camera inside aircraft. Basically, that sets aircraft as a parent, so it listens to what aircraft, the object, tells it to do. So we're basically done. All we need to do is click on assets again. I've got the three script, uh, the two scripts here that we need. We'll drag them into here, and we've imported them to our project. I'll full screen this again. Okay, now we want to click on the aircraft. Click up here on the aircraft. Scroll down to the inspector. We want to add another component. And we want to search for fly. Which is that. Okay. We are basically done. Now all we're left to actually do is drag the objects. So now you notice down here, um, says camera, it's set to none, ground detector, and explosion. We're not going to add the explosion, um, you have to make a particle effect. Pretty stupid actually. So we're going to drag the main camera to the camera. And we want to add the ground detect script to... Oh sorry. The ground, which is our plane. To the ground detector. Okay. Now, if I'm 100% correct, this should work. Very, very basic. Like I said, shut up the engine, you just hold control. You go down. Shadows, everything else is all rendered. There we go. And to start the engine back up, just release control. That's it for the tutorial guys, hope you enjoyed, this is the basic flight simulator, you can add your own controls, longitude, latitude, whatever you like.